Max, thanks for joining us today, back in the under-21 squad. Are you looking forward to getting back with the group? Definitely. Uh, delighted to be involved again and uh, really looking forward to it. When did you first get involved with Scotland? It was under-16s was my first appearance against Australia. And then I went away with the under-19s to Hungary and now I'm involved with the 21s. Has it always been quite a proud moment playing for your country? Definitely, it's a huge honour, so I really enjoy it any time I go away. Do you think international football is different to club football? Have you noticed differences when you've played? Uh, it's just new experiences playing against different types of players, uh, European teams and stuff, so no, I really enjoy it. With under 21s, you got your first call up kind of like late notice. You were one of the last ones in the squad. Was that slightly nerve wracking coming to training for the first time? Not really. To be fair, I knew a few of the boys, so I was more just looking forward to it and looking forward to getting getting started with the team. What was the standard of training like? Clearly quite a lot of talented players in the squad. Ah, there was loads of really good players, so it was a really high standard, but uh, no, I really enjoyed it. Do you think it helped for you having the first game at Fir Park? It's somewhere you know really well, maybe make you a bit more comfortable? Ah, it does help, obviously knowing the pitch and stuff, so it was a place like home to be fair. I've touched on your goal, obviously, uh, linking up with Ben Doak. Talk us through it, do you remember it well? Ah, I just remember playing down the line, he does that one, he lets it run through his legs. Uh, and then I managed to cut it back to me, I've had it on my left and it goes in. Your parents, were they watching that night? It must have been a proud moment for them. Aye, definitely. There was actually a photo of them sitting in the stand, so I've got that saved on my phone. Oh, nice one. You probably, for those who don't know, your dad, Alan Johnson, played for Scotland, manager as well. I'm sure you get sick of getting asked about him, but <laughs> how big an influence were both your parents, but him in particular, on your career? Aye, massive. Ever since I've been young, he's always been on at me, making sure I'm practising and stuff. And even now, he still watches my games every, every weekend and uh, showing me what I can do better and stuff, so no, a massive help. And there was a brief period that you played under him, he was your manager, yeah. how, was, how was that? Was that a bit strange? I loved it to be fair, it was brilliant. Uh, obviously it was a bit difficult at times when we weren't winning every week and I wasn't playing as well, but I was really lucky I think to have experienced that and I really enjoyed it. You started this season at Cove on loan, how was that loan spell for you? Uh, brilliant. Uh, the manager Jim McIntyre was really good to me throughout my, my loan spell there and uh, I really enjoyed it. The boys were brilliant and we managed to get a good run of form as well so no, I really enjoyed it. I think with young players like yourself it must be invaluable just to be playing week in week out especially against older more experienced professionals. 100% I think obviously the age I'm get, getting to now I'm getting into men's football so as much as men, men's football experience I can get I think for the better. How did you notice the difference between that and playing academy football before that? It's a massive difference. Uh, obviously I was at Queen of the South the year before as well and that was a big step up. That was my first year in, um, in men's football and that was a big step up but I feel as if I'm comfortable now. Coming back to Motherwell, you came back at a time when the club was struggling at the bottom of the league. Was it a bit of pressure kind of coming in at that point? To be honest, I just wanted to hit the ground running. I was delighted to be back uh, and I was really looking forward to hopefully getting my chance. As someone who grew up coming through the ranks at Motherwell, is it a bit of a dream now to be playing week in, week out? Definitely. Obviously when you sign when you're 12, you're thinking that's where you want to be eventually and I've managed to get here so I'm delighted. And Motherwell have really picked up a run of form as well and you scored your first goal in Stuart Kettlewell's first game. Talk me through that. I know a lot of people are saying it's a cross but it was definitely a shot. Definitely a shot but uh, so, uh, I think it was Gossie. Gossie's played the ball in behind, I've took it down in my chest and uh, I've managed to find the back of the net. We're back here today at the JD Performance School Trials. You were in this position not too long ago. What do you remember of, of that day? Uh, I remember the nerves are turning up to be fair. I remember my dad actually took me to the wrong school to start with. <laughs> uh, so we turned, up, start. we turned up to the wrong school, so that obviously hit my nerves a wee bit. But no, I really enjoyed the, the trials and uh, I just remember working my hardest and trying to impress. You're still a young player, obviously, but it must have felt quite nice coming back today as a professional player. And I suppose a lot of these kids would look up to players like yourself. Ah, it was brilliant just to see all the kids uh, enjoying their football and working hard. What, what school was it you were at and who was it you came through with? Uh, I was at Bretos High School and in my year it was me, it was Alex Lowry, Matthew Connolly, boys like that. You, do you still speak to them? Yeah, I'm still at Motherwell with Matty Connolly so I speak to them every day. And see so just playing football every day, someone like myself who didn't play, <laughs> that's obviously would have been the dream. Um, do you feel you saw yourself improve? The, Hundred percent. Uh, obviously, being lucky enough to get the opportunity to play football every day at school—that's what you want when you're that age. And uh, feels as if it really did benefit me. And the extra sessions I used to do with Stevie Clark after school as well—that really did help me as well. Just looking ahead to the under 21s, Sweden and, and Wales, two tough games, two different tests. I two really hard games, but we've got a really strong squad, so hopefully we can get some results.